I'm going to visit my friend Doug Wild. He's a professor at Stanford University. He's emeritus. And in addition to his other activities, I found out he cleans up the highways. So I want to get to the bottom of this and see what it's all about. Hi, hey, Bernie. Hey, Doug. How are you? Come on in. Thanks. Cleaning the highways is so unusual. How did you get involved with that? Well, cleaning the highway, that's, that's not why I go up there. I mean, it's, it's a byproduct of my riding my bike. And I ride the bike because uh, I'm uh, type 2 diabetic and it lowers my blood sugar. It's good for me. And the only way I can get that real lowering is to go up a steep road uh, at Route 84, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just got tired of looking at the trash. You know, if I got to do it twice a week, I don't want to have to, you go buy something eight times, you figure, Jesus, why didn't somebody pick it up? Finally it hit me, maybe I ought to pick it up. And that's where it, that's where it started. It's nine miles up yes. there, of which the last three are the steep part. Mm -hmm. But it takes, well, when I pick up trash, it takes about three hours. Uh, and it, yeah, because I'm getting off the bike. When I'm going downhill, of course, it's, it's easy to go. But I often go past something, I'm going too fast. Uh -huh. So it's, it's a little trickier, but uh -huh. it's part of the variety, that's nice. all. I just use these uh, uh, grocery plastic bags. I put one on each handlebar. Uh -huh. uh, one's for the recycle stuff, and the other's for uh, other trash. And so I just dump it in there and accumulate that. If it's a reasonable size that I can carry it, then I take it up the top uh -huh. of the hill. Yeah. I've gotten to know the guys up there. It's a American family of Palestinian descent. George undercharges me nice. for my lunch. I got cover everybody. Pretty good. Let's do it. Yeah. That's it. I got a bunch of change here. It's okay, Doc. I'll catch you next time. No problem. Oh, George, well, thanks a lot. You are welcome. Hey, did you see the, this month's geographic? I got an article about Bethlehem. You're from there, aren't you? Yeah, that's my hometown, Bethlehem. I was born and raised in Bethlehem. My home is like half a mile from the Church of Nativity where Christ was born. No kidding. I was born there and raised there, you know. I'll, I'll try to save that article for you. Well, it's okay. <laughs> okay. okay, Doc. Thank you, buddy. I'll see you. See you. Have a nice day. I was up there uh, having lunch, and here was this Caltrans guy, and uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, what I'm doing, and he says, hey, would you like to have one of those safety vests? I said, yeah, that'd be fine. I'm a nice souvenir and everything. How do I get it? He says, well, I don't have one with me, but we'll get it to you somehow. So one day I'm coming up there, and uh, this Caltrans truck pulls up, and this guy gets out, unsmiling and tough, you know, real macho guy. And he pulls out this safety vest, and without saying a word, or without smiling or anything, he hands it to me like it's the Congressional Medal of Honor. Oh <laughs> really, I was very taken by that. When I felt it was really working was when guys in pickup trucks started honking and waving and all that. I'm sure some of those guys will see something big and they'll pick it up, because I'll go buy something I, I can't pick it up. Next time it'll be gone. And I'm sure some guy figured it out, put it in his pickup, and it took care of it. So it makes it's easier all the time. Some group up there that's ecologically minded made a party and you were the guest of honor or something? Oh, well, no. The people that live up there, they have a party, an outdoor barbecue every October or so. So they invited me uh, and uh, bring my wife and all, on a Sunday. And I saw Doug back there and I've been wanting to talk to Doug for a long time, so I'll just park it right here for a second. Hi, my name is uh, Terry Walters. Terry, <laughs> I'm Doug White. You know, I live uh, just right over here in Skywood Acres. We have this picnic every year and so um, I was hoping that maybe you, you, you'd want to come and meet some of the neighbors and because I think they'd love to meet you. So we went up there and this was really something. These are well-off people up there. So they had tables, uh, you know, it must have been 10 tables, people sitting around and eating really good food, you know. Many of you have seen him, but not everybody knows him. Uh, this is Doug Wild. Uh, he is our, our, our guest of honor this year at our picnic. We thank you, Doug. Everybody, please uh, give Doug a hand and chat and get to know all about it. Thank you. Okay. 
it was a thrilling moment, you know, in a way, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah. that's the closest thing I'll get to the Nobel Prize, I'll tell you that. <laughs>